something, man. We energy, yes, man. Why you do that, man? Why you do that, man? Hey. Bro, put a silencer on him. This bitch shoot like E. Bro, put a silencer on him. She sound like Lee's. Corn not on the beat. This shit crazy. Oh, man. That's not me. I'm oh, so stupid. Oh, gee, I'm so oh, oh. Then caught so many cases, no, the judge can't stand me. Hitting houses daily, and we terrorize families. Dirty cups daily, man, them demons trying to capture me. I catch another case, I don't know what's the next plan for me. Then caught so many cases, no, the judge can't stand me. Hitting houses daily, and we terrorize families. Dirty cups daily, man, them demons trying to capture me. I catch another case, I don't know what's the next plan for me. Then caught so many cases, no, the judge can't stand me. Hitting houses daily, and we terrorize families. Dirty cups daily, man, them demons trying to capture me. I catch another case, I don't know what's the next plan. I catch another case, I don't know what's the next plan for me The homies say I'm gifted with this rap and it's a masterpiece Real life shenanigans, bitch, this ain't no fantasy You ain't talking chilly, little nigga, don't stand next to me All these niggas wanna beat me, I can see you sketching me Plankton, why you trying to steal the sauce, can't find a recipe Blood everywhere, Mr. Sticky left a messy scene I thought you heard what happened to the last nigga who tested me Pin the cases on me, still keep a blower next to me Strip the nigga cold, that's what he get for steady flexing P, I got my gun on me, why this nigga trying to wrestle me Been applying pressure, which you would try to step on me Then call so many cases, no, the judge can't can't stand me, hitting houses daily and we terrorize families, dirty cups daily, man them demons trying to capture me, I catch another case, I don't know what's the next plan for me, then call so many cases, no the judge can't stand me, hitting houses daily and we terrorize families, dirty cups daily, man them demons trying to capture me, I catch another case, I don't know what's the next plan for me, then call so many cases, no the judge can't stand me, hitting houses daily and we terrorize families, dirty cups daily, man them demons trying to capture me, I catch another case, I don't know what's the next plan for me, yeah sir ski see what it is man, welcome back back to up next podcast it's your boy jay money it's been a while but we back man and today we got project twin in the baby man what it do project boy baby project twin. baby twin in the building yes sir i'll be this bitch man live in effect man we right here shout out to my boy for the interview and everything oh yeah man. thank you for pulling up you man Amanda. uh let me get you something right now yeah man but yeah we appreciate you coming man you know it's, it's overdue for sure All right, man. So you know, around here we like to get to know more about the artists and stuff, man. So talk about your upbringing. Where you from? What was it like growing up? I was a lot too loud right there. But um, I'm from Watts, California. You know, grew up in the Join Down Projects. You know what I'm saying? From Gay Street. Uh, shit, nigga didn't really go to school and shit like that. We just trooping with my boys and everything. Shout out to my gutters. Uh, shit, that's it. Grew up in Watts. Bounced around, Long Beach, lived in Long Beach, lived in Wilmington, lived everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm from Watts. So what a daily day like growing up for you? Shit. Uh, daily day. Take care of my daughter. Go to the studio. Make some chili. Same process every day, damn near. Ain't nothing new besides when a nigga get an interview or some shit like this. A performance, a motherfucking pop out. Nigga pop out here and there, but... Other than that, it's the same process. Nigga, don't do too much. Mm -hmm. Don't do too much popping out and all the shits. Mm -hmm. Try to stay on the low, low pro. For sure, for sure. At what age would you say like you started being more in the streets? Um, like 12. Like 12. Nigga start doing plenty of boy shit, fucking with my boys. Banding houses, doing all type of weird shit. Uh, going to little jails and little camps and all the little bunk shit. Yeah, a little shit like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. she was bunk. And you wasn't really into school type shit. You was more into the streets, getting money, quick money, fast money. I was going to school. I, I was I was going to school for a cool minute, actually. Now that I think about it, I was playing football for Narbonne. But... Oh, you went to Narbonne? Yeah, for ninth grade. Like Niggas stopped football. going. They, they kicked everybody off the team. They had the bunk grades and shit. So oh, okay. Niggas stopped, nigga stopped fucking with all that shit, stopped going to school. Yeah, then yeah. they sent me to Cooper, all type of schools, okay? So a nigga just stop fucking with it. Mm hmm Okay. How long you been rapping now? Mm, a year and a half. On a serious type note? Serious? I've been taking it serious probably. When I first dropped my first song, I was like a, a little serious because it was going viral. And then I went back to the streets. And then went viral again. And then niggas started taking it serious again. So like probably like all like this year, last year I was taking it serious. Like the end of last year and this beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. Nigga, when all these big rappers started tapping in like Ruchi and all that. 
Mm -hmm. You know, he got to start taking it serious and shit. Shit, what inspired you to and motivated you to keep on going with the rap shit? Fans. Fans? People tapping in and my DM, begging me to drop songs I post previews of. I didn't even think of. Nigga don't even be thinking about them songs. Forget that I even did that. Niggas didn't screen recorded the nigga shit. Huh. Nigga don't be thinking about none of that shit. Nigga don't be thinking about none of that music. Okay. It's just the fans just be letting you, reminding you, huh? Yeah, the fans be the ones like, on the nigga like, oh yeah, nigga gotta keep dropping, or nigga gotta drop a tape, or mm -hmm. nigga gotta do this and do that on set. And that's what's coming too, right? You working on the tape right now? Yeah, Project Demon. Project Demon too. How many tracks you work, planning to have on that? What features? Mm, I got I got some names on there. I got uh, Big Sad on there, Ruchi. Uh, my boy Treyway on there, Speedy. Uh, who else on that motherfucker? Uh, I can't even think. There's so many names on that motherfucker. Uh, J.I. Benz on that motherfucker. Missed a couple names. I don't even. I can't even think right now. I'm so hard, but that motherfucker gonna go viral. It's gonna have a regular and a deluxe version, and the regular one gonna have all tracks of me. Mm -hmm. And another one will have all the features, but it's gonna drop this year, probably like in a month or two, maybe three. I don't know. It's gonna drop this year though. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the first like visuals or songs that you that you dropped that really gained you some exposure type shit was the What's Next. You feel me? Yeah. That song right there, I think really like okay, you know what, Project Project Baby Twin, yeah, he's he's coming up for show. Sure. Yeah, for sure. For show, sure, for show. Sure. So when you dropped that, like, what was your thoughts about that shit blowing up? Fans started fucking with you. I and had, was like, with that little cat, well, well, that little song, I had caught a case and bailed out uh, the same day or whatever. And then I shot the, I did the song that same night and shot the video on my cameraman Martin S B. Shot it and dropped it the next day because I was feeling some type of way about the whole situation. So mm -hmm. the nigga was just mad, like, oh, we gotta drop it tomorrow. Like, we gotta. Get on it. I'm feeling some type of way. That was the first song, nigga, damn near. I don't know how to express my feelings in songs. So that was like a like a bullshit way, I guess. But uh, that shit went viral. Draco tapped in with that with that one. Yeah, Draco got a little remix with that. That mm -hmm. for sure went up too. Yeah, Draco. I need to appreciate that nigga for tapping in. Yeah, Draco for sure one of the... All the real rappers. All the I don't know if you already got that part, but all the real rappers that's tapping in. Nigga, appreciate that. Because there's a lot of bunk rappers out there that just be talking. Straight bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of real rappers that do what they say they're going to do. So niggas appreciate all the real viral, you know, rappers that's helping Moss. a nigga get in a better position. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Because a lot of these rappers, man, they be too Hollywood and shit, man. I don't really fuck with that. You feel me? It's just like, man, if you want to work, let's work. Don't be on no bunko shit. Don't be on no hate shit. It's a oh, lot babe, of hatred, niggas, bro. It's nah, hatred. Nah, look. Niggas it's be, hatred, bro. Niggas be scared. Niggas be scared to, uh... Niggas to be scared to like, you know what I'm saying? You see you in person, they be friendly. You know what I'm saying? And then and then like in reality they don't wanna work with you or you're a competition or whatever the fucking case may be. But niggas be scary. Niggas don't wanna say they don't they don't wanna do a song with you or they don't want you to take their fans or they don't I don't mm. know, you know, like niggas that be, type shit. Niggas scared. Niggas not gonna say it. Niggas might as well just say it. Don't tell me you're gonna do something, then don't do it. Like, mm -hmm. Uh bro, I fuck with you, bro. Your shit viral. I be seeing all your shit, bro. I was, we was just listening to your shit and woo woo. -woo. Ooh, yeah. And then the nigga, nigga When it's time to it. work, it's uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh I can't saying. tonight, not nah, next week. Next <laughs> yeah, month. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that. Nah, I for sure hear you on and that. Give me a water. Uh, or you could take an exotic pop if you want to. Shit. Water right now though. Yeah, go ahead. Take them with me. Pull up with those. I'm not gonna just drink that. <laughs> That's gonna be a waste of exotic. Oh, Keisha. But yeah, man. Shit. So yeah, man. That L, the L, I feel like the L.A. rap scene right now it's more like a hatred type shit, bro. I feel like it's a lot of people they don't want to work. It's just because it's just not. They just hating on them. Yeah, L.A. weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I like the I like what the uh. With the, uh, I don't know how to say it, the Mexican rappers or all that, you know, I like how they pushing right now. They got their little Peso. Circle. Yeah, so that's my nigga right there. We got hot shit coming. Sway. Shout out to my nigga Peso. Fuck with Sway? Free Sway, yeah. yeah Sway. Sway. Those two is My nigga Sway. Luda, uh, Vike, Inky Boy, all the little, all them little circles over there, man. I fuck with it, man. For sure, they for all sure. got a viral movement going. They all fuck with each other and all that, man. That shit dope. Yeah, they really be pushing each other, you feel me? I feel like it's not the same for others, but... 
You feel me? Everybody for the niggas. Yeah. <laughs> what you Basically, you feel for me? I niggas. ain't gonna say it, but you heard it from Project Baby himself. You feel me? <laughs> niggas not trying to do that for you. He heard it from nigga. himself. I'm not saying all that. You heard it from him though, man. But speaking niggas. of that shit, you dropped the single "Industry Full of Bitches," and you basically just spit the whole shit down. Basically, okay. what we were just talking about now. So go through go through that song and what is what's the meaning behind that song right there? It's like uh. I be going to like little events and little shits and all the shits. I be running to all the industries and all the little main peoples. And they be, you know, when I meet them, they be just, like I said, friendly. Like, oh, twin, we hear your shit, man. We been talking about you. And, you know, the label been talking about you. And woo, 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 woo. But it's like, like they scared. You know what I'm saying? I think I worry. I, I be getting weird shit. I don't know. It's just industry full of bitches. Like everybody just dick ride and niggas only going to follow what's the next Thing. Niggas not gonna follow the truth, or you know, niggas know what the truth is, or who hot and who not, and but they gonna go for that trend or whatever they call it, or I don't know. For this sure, shit for weird. Sure. Industry just weird. They like nice. They like they like people that portray an image. They not trying to get the real deal. Mm -hmm. They spook. You feel like they're scared to invest in you type shit. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they probably thinking they can go do something. Nigga, they know they can't take advantage of a nigga like me. That they gonna do something to them. Mm-hmm. For so for so. So around town there's been a a small little talk, small little buzz, you feel me? You don't really gotta get deep into it. Yeah. But uh people been saying that it's comparisons between you and Rambo, how y'all got the same flow type shit. Yeah. You don't gotta say too much, but what are your thoughts about that shit right there between people comparing you to Rambo? Uh check the dates. That's it. Check the dates, uh niggas know where it come from. Check the dates for sure. You heard it from yourself. Check the dates. We're not going to get too much to it. Not too much <laughs> politicking. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, uh. And ain't no beef. And niggas think it's beef in there. Ain't no beef. Ain't nobody getting touched. Beef don't exist to me if ain't nobody getting touched. It's just, it's just, I don't know. That's just Instagram fans. That's and they going to throw what they going to throw. Just chopping it up. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Instagram fans doing what to do. So after you drop this next project, what's, what's, what are you trying to do? You trying to drop another one? You trying to drop more visuals? I'm going to drop visuals. To every song on the project first. Oh, every one of these songs you got on the project? You dropping a visual? Yeah, a visual to like every song on the project. Oh, shit, you going crazy. One by one type shit. Oh, Nigga shit. got visuals that I shot. I got like five visuals I shot that I ain't even dropped. And I got previews of them. People bugging me to drop them. I'm just like hesitant on it. Like, I don't know. I Wait, got a lot of shit. What's holding you back? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's holding me back. I'm trying to make sure I do my shit right. You know, I don't got no manager or none of that shit. I mm -hmm. do all this shit on my own, so... Nigga just be making sure I'm doing everything right. Everything on time. You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't want to do nothing, speed nothing up and slow nothing down. Feel like yeah. something going viral, you're going to throw something, overlap it. Yeah. You want to do everything at the right process. So, so for sure. Everything's for sure about everything timing. At the right process. Mm -hmm. Everything's about timing and shit. Mm hmm. So you, you want to like build a team around you and shit? Get you a little manager? You want to just do your own shit? Everything run through you? Me and my boy Treyway was thinking about starting our own little team. And, uh, what yeah. you going Like a little label type shit? Something like that, or like a rap, like a rap group. What's it gonna be called? We don't know yet. We still politicking on that, but we gonna come out with some shit. When we do that, shit gonna go viral. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna be the next big thing. You know what I'm saying? Niggas not gonna like that. That's for sure. For sure, for sure. So. Shit, man. You know, LA's opening back up on June fifteenth. You planning to do any shows, any tours around the city? I thought LA was already open. Shit, not for, it's gonna be fully open on June fifteenth. That's when everything is just back to normal. Shit, yeah, if I get booked, yeah. I mean, I'll be getting booked this shit, but I don't know. Everything been weird since Corona started, so niggas just got to see when that time come, what it look like. Mm -hmm. Everything be weird. You think when Corona started, it had an impact on you on your rapping career or it just pushed you to be more in the studio type shit? That shit had impact. Not impact on me, but uh, impact on rappers that had a buzz at their time. That shit, like you said, just pushed me to hit the studio and just start working. Like, mm -hmm. You feel me? But then it, it affected every rapper at some in some way, though. Like, niggas, niggas can do shows and all that. Like, mm -hmm. cause before Corona, nigga was doing high school tours and all this shits. And so you right, yeah. It did. It affected every rapper for sure. Everybody, shit. That shit affected everything. So for so, sure. what are some of your goals for the upcoming year? Mm. Shit, I just want to get rich every year. <laughs> I just be trying to chill some money on okay? game. This rap shit is just fun. It's just like whatever. But the exposure, that shit kind of weird too. Nigga can't be going places. 
We run into fans and shit. That should be weird. You're not really that type of. You don't like that type of scenery. Mm -mm. You more like lay low type of shit. I you feel don't like, know who fans and who ops. Or who, I, I was just about to say that. I was just about to say like a lot of people that's from the streets. They don't really know. They they don't really like the fans because they don't know if they really if they a fan or if they you know feel me. That's gonna be off type of shit. You feel me? Because a lot nigga, of people, cool. nigga, nigga, walk up on you, whole fan out and try to chip you or some weird shit. That's what I'm saying, nigga. You don't know who fans. Because a lot the people fans they don't know that you can't just walk up on no, on no dude like that. You feel and me? And that's what the fans do. And they, that's, yeah. they walk up on you. <laughs> they'll they'll stalk you. <laughs> <laughs> they stalk you for a long ass time. You be like, who the fuck is that nigga steady following us? And then they finally approach you. Like, you, you can't me? be doing that weird shit. You got to just say, I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do, to be honest. I can't even answer that question. Nah, I, feel, I, I, I know what you're talking about, bro, because I, I be seeing that shit. I see that shit a lot. See that shit that a lot shit's for spooky. Sure. You don't know what to do. That shit funny, though. I ain't going to lie. Shit, that shit man. Nigga laughing. You think if the time comes and a label offers you a good deal you will take it or you want to stay independent for a minute it depends how viral I am at that moment like if I'm like viral 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 like big like nigga nigga I ain't signing nothing at that point but if mm -hmm. I'm like medium viral they offering a good deal it might if it, if it I don't know yeah I'll take it I'm great but it gotta be some good shit and, my, and it, it, like I said it all depends how viral I am at that moment mm -hmm. if I'm if I'm not that viral then Nigga not gonna, I don't know. Nigga gonna be wondering why they wanna sign me anyway mm -hmm. if I'm not that viral. But if I'm like medium viral, you know, hearing, I might take it. But if I'm just big, nigga not gonna take it. Yeah, because I seen, I, my, one of my homies told me that he knows a person that signed a deal for just $20,000, bro. Oh yeah, that's some smoker shit. $20,000 signed a deal. You a smoker? Fucking Honda's worth $20,000. Smoker. I ain't signed I was no like, man, that's crazy, bro. People I just be- Imps, 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 be, imps. <laughs> be signing deals for 20 yeah. bands, bro. 20 piece? You, you nah. signed your life over for 20 bands? You fucking stupid. For That's real. some smoker shit. What are some of the artists you want to work with in the future? Like in the main industry type shit? Ooh. Like main, main industry? Like main industry. Like fuck the rap scene. Like the LA rap scene. Like I'm talking about the, the baby. billboards type shit. I want to work with the baby. The baby? Yeah, the baby. Okay. Uh, who else? Damn, who I be bumping? I gotta check my shit. I be bumping niggas over here though. I already got songs with most most of them. I don't be listening to industry niggas like that. So I'm trying to think right now, like like uh the baby, uh baby shit, <laughs> little baby. Yeah, whatever one it is, little baby, baby. <laughs> it's a lot of babies. Uh shit. Uh who uh who else be going up? Shit. Oh wait, my little. Oh yeah, uh, shit, Mozzie. Oh yeah, Mozzie, but I'm talking about bigger, the big, big. I'm talking about big, 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 big. Um, shit, that's what I thought of the baby. He be going crazy. Yeah, you do right be going now, crazy. He be going crazy. Both of them do. Uh, I want to work with No Cap. He hard. He be talking okay, about some no crazy cap. shit. No Cap, baby, yeah. some real nigga shit. Mm -hmm. nigga relate to. Um, all the niggas I want to work with, we don't rap the same, but they want to work with them niggas. Like, yeah, it's all I, them niggas. Like, I hear you. Niggas, the voices and all that, like Dirk and all them. Like, Dirk, yo. Yeah. They want to work with niggas like that. What about Drake? Are you hop on the track with Drake? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Who wouldn't? If you if you turn the track down with Drake, man, you you retarded. You feel me? Because that shit, Weird. it's going to be a, it's gonna be a billboard hit no matter who's on that track. You know what I'm saying? It's just Drake just got the, I don't but it know gotta be like It got to be like, they got to be like, Drake really want to do the song with Oh him. yeah, for sure. Like he going to. Promote it or I don't know. Po I don't know. Yeah, not just some shit that here he gave it to you. Yeah, he don't nigga, really not, nigga don't it. want yeah. it. I don't want it. I don't give a fuck if somebody <laughs> give me a song and be like, oh, Drake gave me a verse. Like, ah. Oh. Now I want to make sure. Drake don't even know me. Yeah. I need Drake to know. What's, you feel me? That'd be viral. I hear you for sure. So, anything you want to let the fans know what should be coming this year from you? Shit, this, uh, that tape, that Project Demon tape. When that drop, shit gonna change. Uh, so if you're looking for features and all that other shit, so you better tap in shows and all the good shits. Because uh, when that tape drop, it's going to go up. But um, shout out to, uh, let me think. Shout out to uh, Speedy, R3 the Chili Man. He viral coming up. Uh, Inky Boy, Peso. I'm trying to think if I miss anybody. Shout out to my boy Pocket, FBZ. My boy Coach FBZ. 
my boy Joker over there. Slid with me. Shout out to him. He another rapper doing this little thing. Y'all got to check him out. Shit. Uh, it's a lot of niggas, man. Can't even think of everybody, but I appreciate everybody who uh trying to help a nigga out. You know, I appreciate you for the interview and everything. Okay. No, for sure, man. Busy. Appreciate you coming through, man. Yes, sir. You keep doing your shit, man. You know, we tuned in. We we locked in if you know what it is, man. All the way locked in. But uh shout out to everybody that's tuned in right now, man. It's your boy J Money, Project Baby Twin in the building. Good again, yeah. Make sure y'all stay tuned for everything coming through. The new he got a new tape dropper, so make sure y'all stay in tune for that. What's next? The music video going to be linked in the bottom. Make sure y'all tune into that. And the Industry Full of Bitches single linked in the bottom. Make sure y'all tune into that, industry man. Industry Full of Bitches. For you heard sure. it from himself, man. But we out of here. It's your boy, J Money. And, uh, yeah, Sersky. A nigga think he cut this way. I finesse in the track. I'm gonna cut this drink. I can never save a hoe. You better cut that cake. Let it be good on your feet before you jump this way. Bad bitch, get your back in, bro. You know the team, bitch, Mac and Coke.